so here I have a couple you have three to pick from um, Adventure Girl, Robot, and Temple Run uh, I like Adventure Girl no they're from a, a another website that, that had some free um, sprite animation so I just pulled those now So let's create another folder, and we're going to, I guess, textures, and then that folder, we'll just do this. Alright, let's go ahead and show an explorer. And Adventure Girl, all PNGs. I'm going to pull my idols, my jump, and my run. but we will need to do something completely different because then we will have to tell the material that this is a sprite sheet and to run through it um, which is that's will be a completely different setup. The only time I've done something like that is with um, particles and so all the particles will be on the sprite sheet if you want like fire and so all the different um, iterations of the fire will be on the sprite sheet and then you just tell the shader to cycle through those. This one we're telling the, 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 the sprite renderer to do it so um, you could I just haven't done it that way yet. Which that's closer to I mean old school. But actually theoretically these could all be on the sheet and what you could do is then tell it to separate out each animation like we did with the other one and then run it that way so yeah all right so we have all of these and now we get to the good stuff hopefully it's already telling it. yes it's reading as a sprite so for this one I am going to go to my sprite render where it says knob drop in my first one and this is huge. That's a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and tell my player I'm going to go and remove my box collider. Yeah, it's a 2D component. Fix this. We'll create a new box collider. I'm sorry, cancel. Physics 2D box collider. and I'm going to scale her down. Now this is going to cause problems once we start to have her um, look back and forth but we will take care of that once we get to it. Yes? Well the ball was just to start out with so you talk not talking about this you're talking about the player yeah no no the player now is going to look like her for the rest of it or whichever one you choose the one thing I do want to do is my box collider the size I want to bring that in some Well, the box collider is on the player, and then the sprite renderer is a component of that. So, yeah, all of them will be the same. Uh, there might be some a little bit bigger or smaller, but I didn't want it overly big for the size of the, the PNG. And I also need to bring it up some.
it moves and it works it's just static now on the player we need to attach our script and I don't know why I don't have a script folder so let's do that no I don't want a new script right now you go away and we'll create a new folder and with scripts and let's put our animation controller on the player and now here we have our array so let's start off with idle and idle we have we go to our textures we have looks like 10 for idle so we're going to type in 10 and you have to put these in order and there are not a lot if you had hundreds of them this would be extremely tedious and boring now let's do our run the run is faster we have eight jump we haven't put anything in yet we also haven't set this to work with our controller and then we have array indexes out of range so let's see what's going on here So my my little equation here was off.
guys that have something a little bit backwards with my math. And I was just seeing the difference between that and time dot delta time compared to time dot time. And initially had As soon as I do that, I'm getting a exception with the array. keep it as an int for the simple fact that if I don't the problem is that this is going to be a little bit wonky but the frame rate should be a lot faster than what I'm getting now to this one so what I want you guys to do in the meantime 